Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be giving a little pro makeup artist tip, or well, just for anybody, quite frankly, especially if you have a lot of makeup and you're just a makeup lover in general. Um, I think this would be very useful. And this is it. <laughs> I recently um, had one of my cases um, makeup palettes break on me, unfortunately, and I had to quickly try to replace it and come to find out I did not know that you literally could not walk in a store and purchase the Z palette. Um, that was a bit on the sad side. Uh, I went on to Ulta.com and I went on to Sephora.com as well um, and they both didn't carry this size. Now Sephora did carry, does right now anyway, and they have a special edition size but it's small. I can imagine what small looks like if this is extra large. You know what I'm saying? This is, it's a pretty good size. I was just hoping it was gonna be a little bigger than this when it said extra large. But it worked out anyway because it holds all my pressed powders. Um, I'm able to fit into this little bad boy. It comes with its own little tin um, adhesive for you to put on the back of these products um, to make it stick onto it. Because a magnet's not going to work with the Z palette. Um, just so you know, FYI, it's not going to stick to this. You're definitely going to need to have, um, it definitely comes with it, but you definitely need to have that metal um, sticker to go on the back of this. Um, the metal stickers also do not work on the MAC palettes either, the empty palettes. So FYI, if you're planning on getting a MAC palettes and you have a whole bunch of little pieces, it's definitely good to go ahead and get the sticker magnets to cut and apply to the back of your little eyeshadows or blushes or whatever it is you're planning on depotting and placing in there. Um, I have to say it's this is so much more convenient. It's so easy to just put, you know, easily just use whatever color you're going to use. You're not constantly opening, closing, opening, closing. That's why these are so useful. This helps to save on time. And if you're a makeup artist, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to shuffle through each palette, trying to open up each one. And here it is. You're going to be frantic. You're, going to run, you're not going to run out of time, but you're going to be wasting time that could have been saved by easily having everything in one palette. That's my personal advice, even come, coming down to, you know, like the MAC palette. And I, don't get me wrong, I love this thing. Um, it's very easy and convenient. I have my separated to where these are all the matte colors and these are all the shimmery colors. Uh, so it just makes it a lot easier for me to know, okay, these are all my mattes and I kind of have them kind of organized sort somewhat uh, from lighter down here to, you know, it starts to get darker, way darker all the way over here. Um, so it's definitely useful. So my other palettes, which is like the Milani eyeshadows, which are like super, super pigmented, but you know, trying to get you know, I couldn't get it to fit in there. So this blue one here, so it got to live in here anyway. Um, I did have another palette that I chopped up. I also purchased this palette as well from Camera Ready Cosmetics. Um, I just took a box cutter and cut the inside so I could really have more versatility and fit more eyeshadows in here. Um, I believe before, I think it was holding 14 eyeshadows. So now I just kind of have a little bit more alternative, you know, more space to do more. Um, the only thing is it doesn't really take those dome shaped items. So that's the only thing about that. But for everything else, it works perfectly well. So anyway, if you don't have any palettes, I highly, highly recommend it because this is like, this one, two, three, four, five, six. This is like seven palettes, separate little palettes. Who have, that's why we would never remember what we have. Because here it is, we've bought that color already, but it's in so many, we have so many different palettes that you kind of forget about it because out of sight, out of mind. So if you don't have a palette, I definitely recommend uh, purchasing, you know, uh, one of these palettes. The MAC one, you can purchase in store or online, but like I said, with the Z palette, the only issue I realized with that is you actually have to go, um, online to purchase it. So I just went ahead and purchased it from CameraReady.com since I was already purchasing some other items from there. Anyway, if you have any questions, would like to see a specific type of video, uh, make sure to leave in the comments below. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Bye.